In principle, a bolometer is a very simple device. A simple resistance wire is all what it takes. If a resistor is heated, the resistance varies. The variation in resistance is measured using a Wheatstone bridge. In a Wheatstone bridge, four resistors are connected to each other. Two diagonals result. Voltage is applied along the first diagonal, and the resulting voltage is measured over the second diagonal. Heating one resistor unbalances the bridge, and the displacement of voltage of the measurement diagonal can be recorded. By heating two opposed resistors, the bridge becomes even more unbalanced. A circuit of this kind is a bolometer, suited for radiation measurement. On a foil, delicate, meander-shaped resistors with very high resistance may be formed. Exposing such a resistor to radiation would be ineffective because absorption is too weak. Therefore, an absorber is mounted on top of the resistor. When the absorber is exposed to radiation, it heats up. The heat will cross the foil, reach the resistor and change the resistance. The heat in the absorber is drained with a heat sink. The geometrical dimensions of the absorber surface are constrained by the size of the heat sink. Exposure to radiation yields to a temperature profile that drops continuously towards the edges of the absorber. The thermal properties of the absorber entirely depend on its surface and thickness. Reducing the size of the absorber surface completely changes its thermal properties. The heat flow towards the edges clearly increases. Heating of the resistor vis-a-vis -vis is significantly weaker and sensitivity drops accordingly. Pressing a heat sink on the absorber will not guarantee perfect geometrical boundary conditions for the absorber. Therefore, the thermal properties are ill-conditioned. Constructing a miniaturized bolometer with high sensitivity is not achievable with such a device. Miniaturization may be achieved with an entirely different kind of absorber design. A very thin heat flow layer is arranged around the absorber. At the end of the heat flow section the material thickens and thus acts as a heat sink. The entire layer may be produced in one piece and out of one material. The arrangement combines the absorber, the heat flow layer and the integrated heat sink. Upon exposure to radiation, the thermal properties of the absorbing layer is particularly advantageous. Temperature is uniformly distributed across the absorber. Heat drain may be optimized by adjusting characteristics of the heat flow layer and is independent of the absorber surface area. The geometry of the absorber area is exactly defined. Such a bolometer may be miniaturized. Under the absorber layer, we find two meander-shaped resistors, which can be intertwined. Varying two resistors in a Wheatstone bridge doubles sensitivity. Another two meander-shaped resistors may be mounted right next to the first ones. The resulting four resistors may be connected to form a Wheatstone bridge. Many bridges of the same kind may be placed on one foil. The absorber with their heat flow layers embedded in the heat sink are located on the opposite side. On one single foil, we find a large amount of bolometers, together with their reference bolometers. The foil will now be connected to contact pins. 120 pins for 30 bolometers in the example shown. The bolometer foil transforms into a bolometer camera. A sophisticated collimator composed of multiple layers determines the optical path for each bolometer. It also masks every second bolometer to provide a reference. Eventually, a highly sensitive miniaturized bolometer camera emerges. Melba, multi-element bolometer array, the bolometer camera for plasma reactors of tomorrow.